you for watching. Hey, everyone. Why do we as women get caught up in doing things for other people, right? Spend all of our time doing things for other people. We get caught up in our day to day. We get caught up in our marriages. We get caught up in um, taking the kids to school and doing that thing. We get caught up in our work. And sometimes we even get caught up in just doing things more for our dogs and cats than we do for ourselves, right? And over and over, I see this everywhere I go. And after I've treated 14,000 women, this has been the underlining um thread the commitment to self-care and frankly it's taking a toll on us and i wanted to discuss this today because i really believe that self-care is not selfish it's not an indulgence it's an act of political welfare where you take back your power and I know that it's hard for many women to, to really focus on that. So what I've done is I have a solution for you. Okay, I have a solution and that's going to help you. I wish I had my crown on today. That's going to help you put on your crown and keep it on and treat yourself as the queen that you are. Now, um, if you're tuning in on the on the replay, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're here now, thank you for, for giving me your time. I know time is precious. Um, if well, I'm going to go through a lot of things really quickly, okay? So this is what I recommend. Um, if you can't listen now, hit the share button so it goes on your timeline. You have it later. Also, um, you don't have to write everything down. I did it for you. So just type in the word self-care and you're going to get this beautiful manifesto. Look at this. I put my heart into this because I love it so much. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I did. It's really cool. And it's in there. Okay. So my name is Isa Herrera. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a pelvic healer. I'm an author. And I believe that all women deserve to rule their queendom. And the time is now. And with everything that's happening these days, we know that more than ever, we have to show up for ourselves, right? So many times we show up for everybody else, but we don't even show up for ourselves. And let me tell you something. I've done that too. I can't tell you how many times I've given it away giving it away. And I don't want that for you. And I know we rush through our modern lives every day with blinders on, right? Blinders, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. We have our family. We have career pressures. You know, we have launch pressures. <laughs> we have so many things. And it's just like coming at us in every different direction. Boom, 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 boom. Right. And we schedule ourselves to sheer exhaustion. And guess what? You know what we do? We fall to sleep, alarm clock, and we do it all over again. It's like we're on like the hamster on this wheel, this hamster on the wheel, just doing everything over and over again. So today I'm going to talk about my, and I wrote these down, I want to talk about my top strategies that will help you to seize the day, that will help you to seize back control, that will help you to bring back your crown. We, 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 we put our crown on many times, but sometimes we, we drop it off, right? We're not consistent with our work. So, so some of us need help. And my job and my mission is to help women heal. And my mission is to help 1 million women heal, which is a big mission, but I'm up to the, I'm up to the job. Okay. So tip number one, and you don't have to write this down, right? Cause I did this for you already. Okay. Type in self-care to get the checklist. Tip number one, the one thing that I find a lot is, um, self-talk, right? Sometimes we tell ourselves things that we wouldn't even tell our best friends. We'll look in the mirror and I know that, listen, I've done this too. So I'm not casting stones. I'm just telling you a, a common thread that I see. And I'm also using myself as an experience. Okay. And it's not our fault, right? When we grow up, we model what we learn, right? My mom was the kind of person that she didn't speak nicely about herself. She was always putting herself down. That's what I learned, right? Like now I try to model better behavior for my daughter. And I, I, I really, you know, I'm very careful with what I say to myself in the mirror, what I say to myself in private, and what I say to myself with other people because self-care rules, right? And you have to examine your thoughts. And I review this over and over then because 
what you think you become. The energy that you put out there is the energy that you get back. And this is not some woo-woo stuff, okay? This is this is true. Quantum physics proves this now, right? So keep your self-talk positive. There is nothing disheartening. There's nothing that, that makes me feel even really bad about the women that sometimes are my patients and my clients, that when they, they start to talk really bad about themselves and they start to believe that. And it's not true. You know why? Because the monkey brain is a liar and we can't believe everything that we think about ourselves. And it's not fair because we're dynamic and we're awesome and we're doing the best that we can, but we can do better. Okay. That's number one. Number two is you have to have a community that supports and nourishes you and loves you, right? This is what I find. I find women hanging out with other women who are throwing the pink slime. Thank you, Jen Kem. This is her term. Pink slime all over the place, right? And these are supposed to be your friends. These are supposed to be the people who are supposed to protect you and keep you and love you. And you know what? They're not. So you have to you have to be in community with people who love you, who support you, who hold you, who when you say something bad about yourself, say, hey, you know what? This is not true. You are beautiful. You are awesome. You are amazing. So community, it's really important. It's the medicine for the 21st century. Choose your community wisely. Super important, okay? Now, Number three, and I talked about this before in my last Facebook Live, but I always think this is important. If it's not in my calendar, if my me appointment is not in my calendar, I'm going to tell you one thing, I'm not going to do it. I am very busy, and many of us lead very busy, hectic lives, okay? It's just the product of the, the, the environment these days, right? And so I have to actually put it in my calendar. Can you believe this? And what I'm recommending, and when I put it in my calendar, it's like, boom, blood. I write it in blood, right? So I'm recommending that you do that too, because when you put this appointment in there, you realize that this is for you. And you tell people when, when, that, when it's your me time to get out, right? Because you really need to focus on that and bring yourself into the moment where you're the first person on your own list. You cannot fill someone else's cup if your cup is empty it's just not going to work it's not going to work and you're going to end up feeling depleted exhausted feeling like caca right feeling unloved unworthy and 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 you know what put yourself first by creating that me appointment type in self care if you want the checklist cuz i'm going to show you something really cool that i did for you okay now Okay, so I'm going through my notes and I did the me appointment. And self-care is, is also not about just being busy and doing things, right? It can be about doing nothing as well, right? But sometimes we think self-care is like, oh my God, I got to go massage myself. I got to go do self, you know. No, sometimes it could just be quiet time. That can be an act of self-care. That can be an act of extreme love, right? Or laying down or reading a book or... Okay, so these are things that are really important. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is is doing something that's very that one of the critical things for self care, I believe, is finding awe, right? Awe every day. I mean, look for it actively. Look for it because when you look for awe, it changes your brain chemistry. And when it changes your brain chemistry, you become more positive. You become more confident, right? Because you are in a state of awe. And awe is everything that you find. It's in a flower. It's in your kid's smile. It's in the sunset. It's in the sunrise. It's looking at the ocean, right? It's feeling deep gratitude for what you have in your life. Even if the things are not going exactly the way you want them to be. You know, you have to like choose what you're going to put your attention in. So awe is like the one thing that I really try to do every day, consciously, always looking for it because I know that it's going to change my biochemistry and, and that's going to happen for you too. Okay. So that's the other thing. And, um, the other thing that I want to talk about is, is honesty. Okay. And, and this is very important because sometimes we feed ourselves a lot of BS, or other people feed us a lot of BS, right? So we can be honest with ourselves. We can take inventory, but we can't be harsh with ourselves. We have to have self-compassion. 
we have to have self-love. But self-compassion, I mean, that's also the medicine for the 21st century, right? If community, right, is the medicine for the 21st century, then compassion is, 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 I don't even know, it's like beyond the medicine, right? It's the state of like being really, really in a state of grace with ourselves. Because many times we're in a state of grace with somebody else. We're giving all this compassion to everybody else. But when it comes to compassion for ourselves, you know what we do? Nada. Zero. Okay. So compassion is really critical. Type in, um, I'm going through like five steps, but there's more steps on the on the um, the manifesto. But this is what I did. I didn't do it because I have no tech abilities at all. But my team did this for me, right? My team is amazing. Look at this. Look at this beautiful thing. Look, and you can cut it. You can put it right. Why? I want. I have this in my in my bathroom, and in my bedroom. And then you can paste it on, and it's a reminder. Look how cute it is, right? It's like a, you can even frame it if you want. It's. I just love it. I love it. I really want to help women heal. I really want you to know that you are beautiful. That you are awesome, right? That you are dynamic. That you are, you know. You are the queen and that you deserve to rule your queendom. And, and so I want to go over what I, I'm going to recap what I said. This, I, I think I went through five, but there's more in the, in the manifesto. I'm not, I don't want to keep you here because I know everybody wants their, their, sorry, their Memorial Day plans, which is really cool. Um, keep your self-talk positive. Critical. Okay. Connect with nature. Very important to go outside. You know, I work from home. I do virtual coaching. And sometimes I can go the whole day without going outside. I got to tell myself, go outside, Isa. Go outside. Go to the park. Go to the roof deck. Go and do something. Right? Very, very important to connect to nature because nature heals. Right? Nature heals. And na in nature is where you find awe sometimes right? So you can use it as a double thing, right? So I believe that going out and connecting to nature is absolutely really critical. Also grounds you. It grounds you. It grounds you. Make that me appointment. I want everybody here. I want Donna, Melissa, Georgina, Karen, Teresa, um, Susan. I want Osolia, Melanie, Rose, Helen, Maria, I want all these beautiful queens who made time to come here to talk about self, to listen to me talk about self-care, if you have your phone right next to you, I want you to put a B appointment in there. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Because it's going to change your life, okay? Remind yourself why you do what you do, right? Which is part of telling yourself the truth. Okay? Don't lie to yourself. Don't feed yourself a bunch of lines that are not true. Don't say bad things to yourself. Catch yourself at that moment. And for every, this is another assignment. For every bad thing that you say about yourself when you're in the mirror or when you're walking down the street, I want you to say three good things about yourself just so we can erase that one thought, okay? One bad thing, say three things about yourself. Like, I love my eyes. I love the way my hair looks. And I love the way I wrote that piece of paper, right? For everything that you say that's bad, say three things to yourself. So you have two assignments right now, okay? Now, the most important thing is to understand that self-care is not selfish. It's not indulgent. You're not being like some prissy, you know, like there's a lot of neg negativity that comes towards women when we decide that we are the queens and we control our queendom. A lot of individuals cannot handle that, right? But you shouldn't care about them. You should care about yourself. You should, you should embrace the fact that every day is an opportunity to do it better. Every day is an opportunity to connect, to find awe, to put yourself first on your own list. And if that doesn't happen, then we have to do self-forgiveness and self-compassion. Um, those are really important. And, and, and I just want you to know that I'm Isa Herrera and I help women have happier lady parts. That is my mission in life. And next week, oh my God, ladies, we're going to be, be in for a treat next week. Next week, I'm doing a sort of like hot seats, hot seat coaching. 
So if you want, if you're really stuck, if something is not going right, right? If you want to tweak your program a little bit, then you want to show up next week because next week is going to be whew, turbo, turbo. It's going to be so good. Okay. Now, I know if you're watching in the replay, I want to thank you. A lot of people watch on the replay, so I want to thank everybody for watching on the replay. Type in the word self-care to get the manifesto and messenger. You're going to be so happy with this. Um, and no, uh, I'm going to, some parting words here, okay? If you do put a question in there, I'm going to go back and answer questions. So don't worry if I haven't gotten to a question. I don't see any, but if you do put one, I will go back, okay? Know that you are a queen. You are a beautiful amazing, gorgeous, connected, grounded queen, okay? And that you hold the key. You're the only one. Hey, there's, there's no fairy. There's no self-care fairy. I wish there was, okay? Um, you're the only one that can hold the key to your well-being and your health, and you have to trust yourself. You have to trust that you can do it, but you have to put in the work. It's not magical. But when you do the work, it becomes this sort of magical process, right? So I want to thank everyone for being here today. I want to thank everyone for putting their trust in me and being in my community. My community is, is pretty big, and it's all women. And I'm, I'm so grateful to be able to provide this, um, I don't know, this wisdom that I learned the hard way the real hard way. And I don't want that to happen for you. I really don't. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week, same time. And I will be in my, I call this my pelvic cave, right? My pelvic female cave. Right. When I'm in here, this is, I'm very centered. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Isa Herrera, I love you guys very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And, uh, Put yourself first on your own list and, 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 and make that appointment and do those little things that I recommended. It's going to change your life.